Greetings lovelies, hi it's Emmy. Welcome back to another prison recipe test. Today I have a new cookbook for you. It's called Commissary Kitchen, my infamous prison cookbook. And it is written by Albert Prodigy Johnson. And in particular, it shares his recipes and his struggles on trying to maintain good health in prison. So he has sickle cells, so he found it even more challenging to maintain good health using the few things that he has out of the commissary or out of packages that his loved ones send him. So Prodigy has a section here called Classic Prison Dishes. And I'm just going to do this one. And this is Peas Jail Break. And if you like these kinds of prison recipe taste tests, be sure to subscribe. And I'll also put the playlist to the other recipes that I've tried out down below. All right, let's go ahead and make this. I'm just gonna cook it with some hot water like I've done in the past. Add it to a bowl. And then microwave it and then I'll strain it. I just added some boiling water and put a lid on it and let that sit for a little while. As I mentioned, Prodigy also has sickle cells, so he tried to stay away from these packets because they're full of sodium. So I think that's a wise decision. I'm gonna set that aside. While my ramen is cooking, I'm going to prepare my meat. So the recipe calls for using canned sausage, which I believe is like Vienna sausage, which I didn't have on hand. But I did have some leftover spam from my spam taste test. Put that link down below in case you missed that. So I'm gonna substitute that. Another kind of canned meat, right? <laughs> As you can imagine, inmates are not allowed access to knives generally, so you often have to make do, and can lids are sometimes used as knives. So I'm going to go ahead and test that. I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to cut myself. <laughs> yeah, it works beautifully. You just got to be really careful. So now that I have meat chopped up, I'm going to use a little snack sized bag of Doritos and crush them up. Okay, let's check on our noodles. And indeed, they have plumped up. This stuff is wicked salty, so I'm just gonna use a tiny amount. Now I'm gonna add the chopped meat and my crushed up burrito. So the book shares a lot of stories about prison life and in particular how food is an integral part of that in terms of maintaining an emotional sanity in prison. As you can imagine, you don't have a lot of privileges and you don't have a lot to do. So cooking things and cooking breaks and making things like this, but you have something to eat and you have a feeling of satisfaction. So as you can see, this isn't exactly healthy, but I'm encouraged by some of the other recipes in this book. So I'm looking forward to try those ones out. So that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna add some hot sauce. Prodigy says that they had Frank's Red Hot in his prison, but I have Tabasco, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna add some Sriracha in that too, because it's my prison after all. I'm a big fan of mixing my hot sauces. And that was also listed in Prison Ramen as one of the hot sauce options in his prison, so it is legitimized in that sense. All right, let's give that a taste. Itadakimasu. Mm. There's still a little bit of a residual crunch from the Doritos, and it does taste like Doritos, vaguely. It's kind of watered down because it's spread out with the ramen noodles. It's not overly salty, which I like. And let me try to get a piece with the Spam in it. Mm. When you get a bite with a piece of Spam in it, it actually gives it a lot of flavor, a little bit of a smokiness, a little bit of protein. Believe it or not, I think this actually could use a little bit more Spam because I didn't use the seasoning packet. This isn't overly salty. Like always for me, hot sauce is a welcome addition and I think it works in this recipe as well. But to be honest, this is not very delicious. I'm sure it would fill your belly and I'm sure it's very satisfying to make something for yourself, but it's not exactly tasty. So that was Commissary Kitchen, my infamous prison cookbook. Let me know if you want to see more recipes from here. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy that one. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, give it a little bit of love, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye.